All right, this is out in front of the hotel. There is two volcanoes there. You can't see either in the clouds. A tiny volcano, one more volcano. And then this is a massive, massive lake. And then that red boat is our boat and it's docked on our dock, but we need a new motor for it. And this is kind of the main street through town. So we'll walk back to the front of the hotel. This is the main road. This tower right here is one of our towers. It's the two floors above the restaurant and the cafe. So looking at the front of our property here, you can see those three scooters. Those three are ours and then the red one over there by the main door is ours. But we've got three garage bays, like basement level. And then that's the cafe and restaurant. So it's hard to kind of picture how this all it works because when we were up there earlier, that felt like ground floor, but really it's a whole nother floor down to to the street, but that's because we're on a mountainside. So once you're inside the property, that's the first floor level. That's the roaster we were standing at. You can kind of see the bar right behind it. And then above that, we have two floors that have rooms in it. But we'll go in the front door here. You'll kind of see the entrance. So front door. There's a lot of stray dogs, so we have to keep our gate closed. Um, this is a reception desk area. And then through that door there is the kitchen and then where we live. Our hotel manager's door is there behind the black door. And then we have some outdoor seating, restaurant and cafe with the roastery. It's actually a jacuzzi back here. So that's a working jacuzzi. It use, gets used on a regular basis. Fireplaces everywhere. And then that office that I was calling you from is this ground level room behind the garden. So all of these windows go into that office. And so the office is at the bottom floor of that tree house room that we went in. So I said there was potentially a room below the dorm room. That's right here. And then that staircase that went up to the dorm room is in this corner. So we would like to eventually open that up into French doors and this rooftop here make that kind of a deck area where you, the students would have their own hangout spot that you can leave the dorm area from directly onto that deck. So right now it's just a roof, but it's built in such a way that it could be decked over. So that's just a matter of cutting a door in where there's windows now. So we will go up here. No, we're gonna start from the cafe and we're gonna go to the rooms above that. So we came in from down there, that's Anthony with this kite. Uh, we walk past the cafe area. It's uh, the restaurant's bathroom here. And then it goes up. So these are kind of the premium hotel rooms because they're the closest to the lake. So it's the queen suite here, which is a really big room looking out on the lake and all the volcanoes. And then up one more floor is the king suite. This is another family room. So it's got a queen bed and then two full beds in here. It's locked. And then up a little bit more is our rooftop bar area, which is honestly pretty underutilized. We put this floor in and this roof in. Um, because 
what was here before was leaking into the king suite. So we put the roof in so that we didn't have any leaking issues. And while we're at it, we put a bar in. Windows, bar, seating space. Another fireplace. And then that looks out over the town. So that's the town of San Antonio. This right here is the Catholic Church, which is actually kind of the center of town. Any good Central American town has a big Catholic church. You can see the kite flying up there. All right, we'll head back down and start again at the cafe. This is the view of the two closest volcanoes, the tiny one and then the other one off in the distance. None of these volcanoes are active. There are active volcanoes in Guatemala, but none of these ones are active. All right, back down here at the main level. Point of reference, there's the restaurant cafe again. There is the office. And then we will head up here. We'll look real quick here. There's three identical rooms. So there's this door. And then on the same level, this one. And then that's the one that we actually went inside. So all three of those rooms are identical. They're just, those are our small individual one person rooms. And they all basically have this full size bed set up fireplace, um, a little closet thing, and then a full bathroom. And then everything has a lake view. So the closer you get to the road, the better the lake view is. But everything is going to have a view of the lake. So another goal of ours, once we have a steady stream of students, this whole roof needs to be replaced. It's from the 60s. So we're gonna take this whole roof off and do a poured concrete terraza. So this will be another almost 1500 square feet of seating hanging out area for either the restaurant or the students or however we wanna do it. And then this is above the kitchen right here, this, um, this old looking roof here. And so we have a potential to go up another floor here to add two more staff rooms above that that would walk out onto that terraza um, so that's some of the the future construction ideas we have the king and queen suite so this is the queen suite above the restaurant the one above that and then that is the rooftop bar and then we'll go next into the tree house which is these two floors here so down the bottom of the tree house is the office we're gonna go in through that door and then go up. All right, tree house. This is the tower that was built around the living trees, which is super cool, but we have to trim the trees all the time and they drop leaves inside, which is super weird. But this is kind of the stage area. This can be set up for doing presentations. It's a pretty good sized room. We did an event here, a Bitcoin event, where we had 50 chairs here um, between this, this lower area and the, the overlook up here. So, um, so this is where classroom time can happen. There is a room here that can be a staff room potentially. Um, this is where I was telling you I want to cut that door and put a little patio area. That is my oldest son pretending to work on stuff. Um, so that goes out to what is currently a roof, what potentially could be a hangout spot. And then this will be one of the dorms right here. And it's locked too. So these, all of these rooms are currently just being rented out as hotel rooms. 
This one is huge. It's um, it's about a 900 square foot room, which for a hotel room is huge. It's got four full size beds in it, but we'll take take them out and put three sets of regular twin bunk beds. So inside will actually feel even bigger, even though we can sleep more people. So that room, it has this staircase, but also actually has a secondary uh, path out to the next level up. So there's that dorm room can lead, has two exits. And this classroom also has its own bathroom. So if you're doing class in here, you can sneak into the bathroom and it's pretty easy. So we looked at the lower level of this, um, these three rooms, one, two, three. And now we'll go up these stairs. Look at the, up. So we're continuing to head up, away from the street and up the side of the mountain. This is part of our water filtration system. It doesn't look like much, but there's a huge cistern, concrete cistern, a sediment filter tank, um, another filtration tank, more filtration up there, and there's actually more filtration in the kitchen as well. There's two more big rooms. So this is above where I showed you that one room that could be a staff, individual staff room. These ones are the two rooms right above those, the three that are down there. Um, and they're bigger. They have uh, one, well, they both have a full size bed and a twin bed. And then that's that back door from the dorm room that comes out to this level. And then if we keep going up, this is the last and newest tower. So this is my oldest daughter's room. She's 17. This is the top of those trees, which we just trimmed, which is why they look barren like that. Normally they're very full of leaves. Um, and then we have some laundry facilities. And then it just keeps going up. So, this is the old gym and pool. Um, it is floor to ceiling tile, so it's really cold and echoey and dark in here. So, we have a pool that we don't use because everybody hates this room. Nobody wants to swim up here in the cold and dark when there is a beautiful lake to swim in. But, we'll probably cover that. We'll just plank that over with a wood floor. Just make storage underneath. Take all the tiles off the walls and ceiling so it doesn't echo so bad. And then this will potentially be more student space because our big dorm room is one more level up from here. So that's the front door, what we call 531. Let's see if there's any chance it's open. This one is set up with a kitchenette area. We repurposed the fridge, so it's not in here, but there's normally a fridge right there. You can put a little electric or propane hot plate. It's got its own sink. This is the one that has two full bathrooms. So toilet and shower here, and another toilet and shower in that room. So this also currently one, two, three, four beds. This would also get changed out for three sets of bunk beds. So the two big dorm rooms would have, would be able to have six people each. And then as we expand beyond that, we can add bunk beds and more rooms. This room has a really great outdoor patio. And so the reason we have to trim these trees that come up through that tree house level is because eventually they get up to the point where you can't see the lake. So twice a year we have to trim these trees way back. So we just did that, but there's our view of the volcanoes again. This is an absolutely epic place to be, especially at night when all these houses have their lights on. Super, super cool. So this room also has a secondary exit and actually a secondary exit from the pro property completely. So 
we came in through this doorway, but here in this hallway, there's a door that exits out um, to a little sidewalk that goes up to that church that I pointed at earlier. So this is a similar size room to that one that's in the upstairs of the treehouse. So everybody gets a fireplace, a little dining room seating area to do school or whatever. We'll take one of the four beds out so there'll be more floor space and we'll put a little couch seating area where this is. Um, and then we'll have three sets of bunk beds. Take the TV out. Don't need a TV here. So this is the top. This is the end of our property. You can't, I don't know if you can tell, this is an exterior wall. This is the cliff face of the mountain. So no matter how high you go up, you're still always at ground level. Um, so we're 50 feet above the street, 70 feet above the street, but it still goes out to a sidewalk that's at ground level. So at some point, there's also a door right here. We want to build a patio that goes out under the trees there that we can hang hammocks and that can be another hangout spot for students. While we're running both the school and the hotel simultaneously, we want to build in as many spaces where students can feel comfortable, where they don't feel like they're in the way of any guests coming through the restaurant or the hotel. So we're trying to think through what that looks like. Um, once students are up here in this top tower, the room we were just in, there would be no reason for guests ever to come beyond this point, so that would be completely separated off of for students. And now we're heading back down. They built this with ramps because they thought it would be wheelchair accessible, but I had to push somebody in a wheelchair up here and it was not wheelchair accessible. I mean, we got them up, but. So that's back down to the office. That's my middle son, Corey. Um, we'll actually go back through one other secret passageway. That's the room we went in that I showed you that could be yours. But we're going to walk through this door in the next video. Okay, so this is our staff only section. So most people don't see this area. This is literally just storage. Two of our kids sleep in this room. Um, but we have all of our extra propane tanks, extra kitchen storage. We're gonna go through here and down into the commercial kitchen. So this is where we cook. Lots of space. Um, this is where our family eats at this big giant table. This is our family living room area. And then behind this wall, we have one, two, three bedrooms. And then we are back down at the garden area and the entrance. We have my favorite part of the hotel. We have a couple of small coffee trees. We just planted these last year, so they're still tiny, but this one has been here for a long time and we're just getting into harvest season. So we're starting to see red cherries. So this is a Typica varietal and it, for being one little tree, it produces quite a bit of coffee. 